Hello everybody and welcome to the Nuzlocke Season 2, the Modlock. We are jumping in, we have set our save file to Dead God and we are going to jump into our first run. We're of course going to go with Andromeda off the bat. We are going to try our best to not die. For those of you that don't know what this is, by the way, there is a video on my channel that I put up just a few days ago. I'll make sure to link it in the comments or the description so you guys can check what exactly a Nuzlocke is. But essentially, this is something we started last year as a little competition. Basically, if your character dies, that character is dead forever. You can never play them again. And the goal is to get as many completion marks as each character as you can. And we're playing as Andromeda, Tint Andromeda, Bertrand, the deleted, and Arachna. It's 200 points per character total for a total of 1,000 for every single completion mark with all the characters. We're going to see how it goes. I don't think I'll be getting all 1,000 points, but I will try my best. There is also a website that you can check out to track our progress. I'll make sure to link that as well. But yes, I hope you guys are ready for this, and I hope you guys enjoy, because this is going to be a really interesting little series. It'll probably go on for a week or two. We'll have to see. Um... There is going to be some Fiend Folio stuff coming out pretty soon. It got announced for the 19th of August, which unfortunately I'm actually away for. So I might not be able to get a video out on the day of it releasing, but there'll be some Fiend Folio stuff coming out on the channel as well. So get hyped for that. But for the question of the day today, for the question of the day today, what is something that you... Okay, we got... <laughs> Great. First item we got is an item that we're not allowed to pick up. Great. But we get to gravity shift here. It'll take us to a planetarium. And we got ourselves Virgo, which means positive pills, which is really, really nice. And I think it's random invincibility as well. Not bad. And one towards the spurred transformation that this character has specific to them. Um, so, yeah. We'll, we'll go ahead. We'll see how we do. Um, but yeah, question of the day. What is something you really can't stand? What is something that, that really is is at the moment specifically bothering you? Whether it be political, just generally in the day of today, on YouTube, generally. It'd be really interesting to find out what's something that's really frustrating you. Right now, for me, it's the weather. <laughs> it's extremely hot in the UK, and I love it, but it's also, like... I mean, I mentioned this a few weeks ago, but the UK just has absolutely no infrastructure to support hot weather and so like all the shops like fridges and freezers are like dying so there's like no stock in any of the stores you can barely get ice anywhere nowhere has aircon it's just a difficult time right now of course we are going to be playing as cautiously as we possibly can i really want to take out the uh the champion as soon as possible there you go um, we want to make sure we don't die, so I'll be playing um, more cautiously than usual, I'll definitely say that. More cautiously than usual. We continue onwards. I would like a key for a bomb, to be honest. Doesn't matter. Um, <laughs> we'll pretend that didn't happen. Great stuff. I always forget that Andromeda has a real big issue of knocking around his own bombs if you don't stop his tears. We can use Gravity Shift to just stop him in midair. I should do that more often. It's a very valuable tactic with this guy. Um, but I forget. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. As long as we don't get hit this floor, I'll be happy. We'll see what boss we end up getting. We do have some other mods on as well. The collection of the mods we are using for this Nuzlocke will be linked in the description. And it's also been on the series that you guys have been seeing prior to this, the practice series. We've got stuff like the Repentance bosses on here and a few other things. I can't actually remember what this guy does, I'll be honest. He doesn't seem too hard off the bat though. The spiders do worry me a little. But as you can see, they're dying reasonably quickly. Okay. I've been hit twice already. I did not expect him to move at that lightning quick pace right there. That was kind of insane and kind of rude. No invincibility though. But yeah, he kind of bounced off the wall, rebounded and hit me into a spider. So not, not the best start considering I was like, hey, let's just not get hit this first floor. I might even want to spend my key here or my bomb to get another key that I was supposed to get earlier to go into my shop and look for a tent, uh, uh, thingy heart especially if this lowers me a heart it didn't it gave me one it did lower my fire rate but it gave me some damage okay i'm gonna say no this time we are going el classico we're gonna try and do boss rush we're gonna try and do um the nice little light path go kill isaac and stuff like that and maybe get mega Satan and if we can along the way of course we'll be going for as many completion marks as we possibly can here I'm not going to risk it for a biscuit, though. We have plenty of time to play this. Um, we can take our sweet, sweet time. Having low fire rate definitely is proving to be a bit of an issue here. Okay, we got that key back. I should also go and check my sack room here. 
to see if we get a heart. It's always a chance you get a soul heart or other in there, and we need to be sort of keeping an eye on that and checking that out. Do we have Curse of the Maze? We did get a Planetarium early. The, these flies, by the way, will probably hit me. Yep, thought so. Unfortunately, flies are really problematic as this character because you can't really knock them back or knock them away from yourself. Um, Saturnus is a great item. We'll definitely take that. Thank you. That's actually going to be huge for us. Especially early game. Troll Bomb there. And Dark Bomb, another really, really, really important item for us here. Because now Red Hearts actually have value. And we have a way of getting a little bit more HP than we'd otherwise have. But honestly, Saturnus is going to be our main way. Our main, main way of keeping ourselves alive right now. And dealing damage. I really don't like this guy. I have to get way too close to him to be comfortable. Yep, I knew it. I knew it was going to hit me. We got a soul heart back though. Don't worry about it. Should have popped this in here because this looks like an annoying room. We want to be destroying all these poops and stuff here because uh, we want to be trying to get red hearts, soul hearts, if plausible. I've already been hit way too much on this run though. I'm already very disappointed with the amount of times I've been hit. My, my tier rate is really bumming me, bumming me out right now. It's very low. Okay, we got Monstro here. I am using my graphical mods that I normally use, so you'll still see them. Okay, good, got rid of the annoying enemy. The poo is really the only big danger here, so getting rid of them is, is pretty key. We could use our bombs here, but I don't really think we need to on a Monstro. I can't actually remember what this Monstro does. Is this just the one that doesn't do the super jump? It might be. I know there's one version of him that doesn't do the super jump. I'm not very well versed in my Isaac Champions. There's only a few of them that I actually know exactly what they do. The rest of them I'm like, eh. They just do something different, but I don't know what. Especially not the Repentance Champion bosses. They're going to be really up in the air. So we we're hoping for a, um, yeah, I'm going to say health upgrade here. That's decent. Also, can you grab that? Thank you. And we'll go and grab that secret room real quick as well. Just because we have it available to us. I don't think Saturnus can push our bombs around, so that's not a big problem for us right now. If we get another key, let's go to our shop too. That might well happen. Yeah, let's go to our shop. In fact, okay, let's let's first go to our shop and see. Do not like this guy. So okay, Saturnus is doing us good. It's kind of hard to see what's our Saturnus tiers and what's our regular ones. But anyways, pop in here. Um, hmm. There's one nickel. Care. Okay. Hope for the best here. Damn, that's a real shame. I was hoping we could get something good out of that. Do you know what? It's a little risky. That'll hit, that'll hit the pot. It's not that much money, but it's still decent. Um, I think for now we'll buy this. Why not? It's decent. It could give us some good stuff if we get a lot more money later on. I was hoping to buy compost there, because compost is pretty good. But unfortunately, we did not get it. Anyways, we'll move on. But yeah, spiciness. But yeah, at the moment, I have a nice old glass just full of ice sitting by my side to rub against my face periodically because it's so hot. It's like, it's it's a real double-edged sword in the UK because it's so nice when it's warm because we get it so rarely that we get to enjoy the weather. But it's also, like I said, so inconvenient because a lot of places don't have aircon. It's quite a struggle. And then on top of that, it's like, I don't know, you kind of feel bad for not liking the heat. <laughs> you kind of feel guilty. That was unfortunate. But not hard enemies, though. Having golden bombs here is pretty darn good. Could give us quite a lot to go at. Unfortunately, can't get to that other chest, but neither here nor there. Be very, very careful in a room like this, because these enemies splitting with our bombs and stuff could be problematic. We'll take Liberty Cap as well. That's pretty good. You see? You see? I got hit by the champion there. Because I ran diagonally away from him, which is literally the only thing I shouldn't do. Give us a black heart. Give us a pill, which is a look up. I'll take it. 
Yeah, it's definitely going to be a hard run here. I think Dark Bum could carry, but he could also just be a shit and not give us any health. Like, he does that sometimes. He's known to do that. Okay, these guys can't hit me from here, so I'm not too worried about them. If only I could hit them. Oh, my lord. Thank you. No magic mush there. That would have been kind of sad, though, if we could, if we got magic mush that couldn't reach it. You, you know, <laughs> that would have been quite devastating, actually. I'm really hoping having um, having golden bombs here ends up somehow paying out with some good stuff. Really don't like that enemy. Don't like you either. Health isn't terrible right now, though. It's not amazing, but we're not doing terror terribly. Another pill there. I don't think I want to take too many pills, to be honest. Ooh, this is a rough room. Use the golden bombs. It's just so hard to know when you're going to hit enemies. That Saturnus is really throwing my, uh, my gauge of where our tears are off as well. Because we've got, like, two separate rings of... Like, I can't, I can't hit this fly. I legitimately cannot hit this fly to save my life. Quite literally to save my life. Having a really hard time with them. I need to use gravity shift a little more, really. We'll check this out because we've got a lot of keys. I was hoping for a soul heart, but obviously we, we can't get that lucky. Okay, got you. Item room we should go and search out for, really. Be a good idea. We also don't need to worry too much about our angel deal, because we've already, uh, not angel deal, sorry, planetarium. We've already, already managed to get that. Let's quickly gravity shift over here to get rid of all those tears. And try and look for a secret room real quick. Seems like a good idea to do while we've got the bombs to do it. Saturnus is just there for the big enemies. That guy almost got me. That guy almost got me. I don't know where I need to be standing to hit things. It's so tricky. I can't work it out. Whoa! That's huge. Poop to the rescue. I keep thinking it's going to go across the ring that we have on our screen, but it's just not the case. It's not the case, people. This is a room that I could get hit in easily, because as I, as I said, flies are not particularly easy to hit. Pooters are also another problematic one. And these guys aren't even... Oh, God. These guys don't even fire out flies. They fire out something much, much worse. Something I have even harder time hitting. And there's so many of them, too. Crooked Penny? Hmm. Crooked Penny's always a big risk, but I think I'll take it. Just because... I think, like, in situations in which we couldn't afford something from the shop, for example, or we couldn't afford a Devil Deal, it might be quite good. That's probably worth trying to get. We got it. That's huge for us. That is huge for us. I don't really want that. Hey, we got a burn heart for that. Yeah, the molten uh, crag or whatever it's called. Huge. It's so good. Trying to look for a crawl space now. And then secret room as well. Which I don't actually know where secret room is. Oh, it triggers off Saturnus as well. That's good. Could be here. You see those fire spurts? Another pill there. Hermit card, why not? Especially with Crooked Penny, I think Hermit card's a bit more valuable. I will go for this. Unfortunately, it did not pay out. As you can clearly see, though, the extra fire damage we've got going off right now is good. And, as you can see, it fires off in a circular pattern like our tears do, which means way more chance for them to hit enemies, which is really nice. That's really cool. I didn't expect that, but they synergize really nicely. It's got a lot of cool synergies, and one of them clearly is Tiny Planet. Gotta be really careful when I bomb these guys, because bombing them is good, but... Once I bomb them, they explode into tears. And if I'm not paying attention to which one's about to explode, which one's about to die, it could get me hurt. Okay, nice. 
Um, we should probably try and put that out from behind the spikes. And we get stem cell, which is completely useless to us, I think. Right, are we out of here? I think we are. I think we are. Right, I'm going to save Crooked Penny until after the boss, but then if, if I don't use it on anything in the boss room, then I'll use it on the shop. Okay, so this guy's a particularly annoying boss, which ju I just sucked up one of his explosive shots. I have no idea if that'll stay explosive or not. Okay, we got him. So ball of bandages, not a particularly good thing for us. We'll duplicate it. We luckily got a duplication there. So now we get a level two. And then in here, we don't have a battery. If I, was, if I had a battery, I was going to double duplicate, but we don't. Uh, second secret room we really should be looking for as well, uh, which I don't actually have a great idea of where that is right now. I realize that I'm missing out on my chance at boss rush by taking my time here. Um, but I feel like on our first run, it's all about survival. It's all about making sure we just stay in the game. There it is. Yeah, I'm, I'm way more invested and involved in trying to actually just stay alive right now. So if we miss boss rush, we miss boss rush. Anyways, let's keep her moving down to the next floor. Things are going decently well so far. Health is a little bit concerning, though. Haven't really had any soul heart or red heart drops. And the ones that I have had, I've squandered. So we would really like a tears upgrade as well here, because that would mean more fires. Okay, remember we don't have golden bombs anymore. Beautiful. Okay, we're killing stuff pretty quick now. The turn is still being huge for us. Good, good. Okay, drop us more red hats. I think it's our luck that we need to improve, really. A liberty cap is providing us some bonuses every few rooms as well. I keep forgetting about that. Liberty Cap's actually doing a pretty decent job. This is going to be a room that I might get hit on. We'll see. Oh no, we did, we did, we did pretty good there. I was not expecting us to do so well. Broken stopwatch. It's decent, but I, I think it's a bit of a risk. It could, it could trigger on a boss and really screw us. I don't think we want to take that risk right now. Probably want to try and get some more broken planetariums in the mix. Just got to remember that broken planetariums sometimes don't give you items. So if the item's half worth taking, you should take it. You really only want to gamble on items you don't think you'll need. Especially in a Nuzlocke. Like that, we, we don't think we'll need that. So we gravity shift here. And we end up getting um, this, which spiders in that room is not nice. Wait, I'm confused. How do I get over there exactly? Can... Did I just get really unlucky and I can't actually get over there? Because if so, that's big sad. I did get a soul heart out of it, which is nice, but I think I've got unlucky there. Yeah. Shame. I tried to duplicate it to see if duplicating it would, like, push it out of the room. You know what I mean? Hey, fella. Do you want to go grab that for me? Turn it into something precious? Nope. All right. <laughs> Do you know what? Let's uh, let's trash that. There you go. Black heart. Error walk. Ooh, you know what? Error walk's pretty huge. Error walk's a card that is super valuable for difficult boss fights. So if we save that for a mega certain fight or a hush fight or something like that, it could be really good. I like the idea. Very good, very nice. Do you want to grab that as well? There you go, my little fella. He's not getting many hearts, but he's getting a few here and there. I won't blame him too much. It's not really his fault. We'll check inside the shop as well. This is actually a decent shop for us. Trying my best to hit him, but it's not really going well. And also, our fire actually just makes these enemies more powerful, so... Ooh, Steam Sale. Very nice. Steam Sale is potentially really good. 
Don't think I need to bomb to get any of that. Stay out where these guys exploding into death. Just gotta wait for all the fires to pop up. I think just having the tears on screen is enough to uh, create the fires though, so that's kind of the better way to do it, really. Hey, a black art finally. Thank you, my lad. Thank you. You've done me a great service this fine day. Um, let's quickly go back. This looks like second secret room to me. Very much is, thank you. Unfortunately, we keep getting that. Although, I actually think it's probably worth playing. Even a lover's card is pretty good. It pooped out, like, pretty quick there, but... For a black hat, for two cent, I'll accept it. Yeah, I want to be looking for the other rooms because I really want to be checking for any extra planetariums that could have spawned. It's rare, but it can happen. And we also got that. Unlocks passageways. Um, okay, that's really nice. That saves us a bunch of keys. Also, if we get Pandora's box, it has a special interaction. Ooh, okay. We did manage to get something pretty good here. Um, if I can manage to get myself a little bit more money, that's actually a really good room. I only need two cents, so let's see how we can manage to do that. Unfortunately, just a lot of bombs so far. We could look for the regular secret room, but I don't really know where that'd be. Hmm. It's going to be a bit of a long floor, I, I presume. A bit of a long floor. So we can get one penny here. But the second penny is a little more up in the air. Second secret room would be a surefire way to get it, I think. Maybe we go and blow up our beggars and see if they give us it. Because we've got a beggar and a donation and a machine up there. That could be a good way of doing it. There we go, beautiful. And then we'll go get skinny odd mushroom, which obviously will lower our damage, but as I said, tears on screen is all that matters for us right now. The more tears on screen, the better. So I really think it's worth grabbing. We go here and we grab that. That gives us a huge tears up, which is going to multiply the amount of fires on screen by a, quite a considerable margin. And the, fire, the fires, I think, do scale off of our damage, but I still think that's more than worth it. Okay. Let's keep on going forward. But yeah, I, I'm pretty happy today because I, um, I went out and there's a new restaurant opening near me and they were doing like a taster day where they were giving out free cocktails and free barbecue wings, and it was awesome. It was only a little bit of food, but it's still really nice. Um, and then on top of that, after I got an ice cream, and then I came home and got another ice cream, because it was really hot still. <laughs> he did manage to hit me, but we won't worry about that. Damage ups, so that makes up for some of the damage we just lost. It makes up for, more than makes up for it, actually. Um, and unfortunately, a little delirium, but I will take him. And then we'll hope that we can kill these angels without getting hit too much. Which I think shouldn't be a problem. I think we've got the damage and the fire rate now to do that. Now, the one thing is our fires aren't super accurate because they don't really fire the way we're aiming. But just having more on screen is going to be what really uh, does it for us. And now this doesn't mean we have to fight Mega Satan. Ooh, Incubus is firing them as well. Yeah, this doesn't mean we have to fight Mega Satan. It just gives us the option to, which I really like. Yeah, there's like white fires from Incubus here. Do you know, I'm really dumb, aren't I? This whole run I've been kind of going, oh, I don't know if I want to take pills. I've got Virgo. I should be taking every pill that comes my way. They're all positive. I forget that. There you go. Nice. Yeah, I need to be taking all the pills that come my way, really. I've been forgetting that. And to that end, I'll go and grab this one. We've already missed regular boss rush. We might miss Hush as well, but it's not really... This, this run really isn't about... I was just about to say, please don't tell, teleport me away from my error walk. It really isn't about speed. It's about getting the job done. And we, we can guaranteed get Mega Satan here as well, so. As long as we live long enough, we can get Mega Satan. 
And I think, based on how our run looks so far, we probably have a good run for it as well. Range up is actually pretty good for this guy. It does affect how far they are away from you, I think. The only problem I perceive now is we have a little bit of a messy screen. We're a bit cluttered. Which means that there could, there could exist a problem or a time where we get hit just because we didn't see what was about to hit us. I actually quite like having a um, little delirium here. It's quite a good pickup for us. Hmm. I can never quite remember how to do this room. There you go. Bit confusing, but we got there in the end. And you gave us another pill, so we wanted to taking pills. Shot speed up. Which doesn't actually affect this character. You can't take any shot speed upgrades. It's a little strange, but I guess. Uh, and we get Celtic Cross there as well, which I think I'll take. We should really just um, Crooked Penny that, shouldn't we? Oh well. I, I kind of wanted it though. I think Vega plus Celtic Cross is basically guaranteed invincibility on hit, right? Because it's like a 50% chance for both of them. I'm not sure if it's exactly 50, but it's a, it's a decent chance for both of them, so it's going to be a really high chance that we get invincibility on hit. Two very good items, actually. It's going to essentially give us a good chance at a lot higher iframes. But you can see the run is really taking form now. We've really got something that actually resembles a good run. And to be honest, I kind of expected this character of all of our characters to be one of the ones that we didn't have too much trouble with. It's the other characters that really present issues. Mainly Tainted Andromeda. He's going to be a real tough cookie. I very highly doubt we'll make it any more than a few marks on him, if any. We might, lo we might lose on the first run, as we should in our practice. It might happen. Don't be surprised if it does. He was put in there. He's a bit of a meme challenge character. He's still a really fun and well complete character, but for a Nuzlocke, not the right sort of fella. Not the right sort of guy. Oh, the fire against these fellas is amazing. And like as well, I feel like this, this item generally isn't that overpowered. I think the only reason it's so good on this guy is because it only triggers when your tears are in the air. But with this character, your tears are always in the air. So it has like a be an extra benefit, so to say. Good, good. Hello, sir. Yeah, it definitely has like an extra added bonus to it. Very nice. Could have duplicated that as well, but I don't think we needed to. Check out the shop. Okay, so this is actually like a, a pretty decent idea to buy, honestly. Shot speed up. Explosive diarrhea, shit. Look up. That wasn't bad. Buy a soul heart. Let's play this out. Mama Mega. I mean, we could take Mama Mega to get into Boss Rush. I'll, I'll buy it. It's not a bad idea. Keep a sack here. And that as well. Hmm. And I'll bomb you one more time to get some more stuff out here. Honestly, I think at this point, yeah, Mama Mega to do Boss Rush is a, is a really good idea. I kind of forgot about the possibility of that. Extra black art here. Because I'm pretty confident in our abilities to do boss rush at this moment in time. I think we can do it reasonably well. Okay. Item room, what do you hold for us? This is probably a gravity shift moment. Spawns random pill and pick up, yeah. This is probably a gravity shift moment. Not anything particularly amazing here, but I'll take them. Could be an item in here. Could be. Machines may spawn sp slots when broken. Beggars may spawn slots when paying out. That's actually pretty decent. We'll take it. Wait. Unlocks the passageway to the hush fight. Oh, it's strange key. Okay, we can do hush as well then. Let's take that. I'm done. 
I thought that was um, the other key, the other blue key, the one that just uh, saves you keys. Then I was like, wait a minute, that didn't save us a key then. Right, so here we go. We did get blur. One of the particularly hard boss fights on this floor, but still, if you know how to beat him, he's not that bad. I did get hit against him a bit too many times there, I will, I will admit. Fire rate. That's fantastic. Didn't give us much fire rate, but... And obviously the shot speed doesn't count, so a little bit... A little bit sad, but otherwise, not too bad. Right, now the question is... Do we want to use Mama Mega now to save us time? Or do we want to use it after so we can go Angel Deal? I think we want to use it after so we can go Angel Deal. Because we could use it now and it would just clear all the rooms for us. But if we use it now, then we have to go to the um, boss rush before we go to Angel Deal or whatever. And I'd... No, 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 no. Yeah, you bastard. I'd very much like to go to the Angel Deal. That's another thing about this character. Troll bombs just get sucked into your aura and just chase you. Oh, I didn't mean to buy that. It's okay. Okay. Everything's dying pretty quick. I would definitely like some more health. Come on, one soul heart. One soul heart. Yeah! I'm in the money. Oh, we should let you grab that heart as well, actually. I always forget to let you grab the hearts. Because he's so slow to do it. He's like, -da 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 -da. I'm just meandering along. But we got a pretty interesting run for getting into Boss Rush and Hush when we're past the time of a bow. And that's pretty cool. These guys do full heart damage, so be careful around them. That guy also hit me. Didn't expect that. Two black hearts. Yes! Three black hearts! Oh, Belter! You absolute beast! Okay. Keep on moving on. What, what am I looking I'd like to get one more tier effect before we do boss rush here. If we can. That'd be really cool. Um, This gives us spun. So we'll go for that. Wasn't expecting to get... Oh, I walked over the spikes. Wasn't expecting to get spun this run, but there you go. Balls of steel. Oh That's lucky. We did get a key piece, which is kind of interesting. I didn't realize the shop sold those, but I'll take it. And do you know what? I'll use it right there. Sadly, nothing from that. We did get telekinesis, which is insane. It's an insanely good item, but for now, I'll say good. I'll say no. That is a really good trinket as well, but we're gonna have to say no. Okay, grab all of that. Just remember, after the boss fight, to use Mama Mega. It should open up the boss rush path, if I'm correct. If I've done this wrong, then I apologise. If I had to use it prior, then more fools me, I guess. But I think this, I think it works this way. I just wanted to make sure we get our angel deal and whatnot. If we even get one, that is. We might not, but get, get our chance for one. Yeah, we definitely entered a state of, of insane damage now, I think. Where boss rush is definitely a possibility. Take that. There we go. We did get one. And we got Soul Locket, which is genuinely very good for us. And then we Space Bar. And that opens up boss rush. There you go. And this time around, I think I'm just going to take Common Call here. Seems like the best choice for us. So boss rush isn't exactly going to be easy here. But they should drop a reasonable amount of uh, hearts also. We get green fires sometimes, which is really cool. It should drop a reasonable amount of, um, of sorry, um, red hearts, which we can use to heal up through um, little dark bum over there. So we'll see how that goes. And also, some bosses are going to get demolished. Some of them will probably take a bit longer, but some of them, like these guys, are going to get just destroyed. 
And this is going to be a rather hearty amount of completion marks for this run. As long as we live. But I, I feel like we're going to live. We have a lot on our side right now. And like, for, for Mega City, and as long as I accidentally use my Error Walk for some reason, we have Error Walk available, which is awesome. Like, there you go. Look, we got one of these guys already. That's a card, not a black heart, but I'm not going to dish you for that. I won't disrespect. It's always a bit annoying when we don't get any fires, because they're like our main damage source right now. Just waiting on the fires. Also, like I said, because the fires are, like, curly, if we get them near the center of the, uh, of the screen, like, the center of this room, they do a lot more. Otherwise, they just kind of hit a wall and peter out a little bit quicker. But, like, while the waves are spawning, we can do this thing where we, like, charge a bunch of shots, get a bunch of fires ready, then release them all in one go. Pretty cool. I really like it. Like, look, look, this look. And then we release. Oh, I didn't even spawn an enemy there. You get the picture. You spawned in a really terrible spot there, sir. If you'd have brimstone then, it'd been really hard for me to dodge. Really hard. Okay. Oof. I expected the bloat to get some hits on me. Oh, there's another eye there. What the hell? The eye's just kind of like chilling. But luckily, Vega and um, Celtic Cross are doing a great job of giving, a, uh, giving us a lot of invincibility. As I said, I kind of expected that they'd play a pretty pivotal role for us. And also, now we have the Polaroid too, so we get even more invincibility on top of that, even if we don't trigger either of those items. So, really good spot for both of those. Okay, take you out. Dingle, can you can you stop? Dangle or whatever you're called. You're not even close to dead, my dude. Die, there you go. There's more of you. More poopy boys. If this guy's a problem, he can cause some issues. Get as many fires on him as we can. And that is exactly what we're doing. Holy hell, we're burning him to a crisp. God damn, three poopy bosses in a row. What are the chances? I like the fact that um, Saturnus is like eating up tears that are about to hit us quite often. It's actually saving us from a, quite a lot of damage. Because it just keeps eating up the tears that are in our uh, radius. Really nice. Probably about three or four more waves to go. This guy needs to be high priority here. So he's going to do some lasers. Actually, the angel died first. I wasn't expecting that. We got Pin here. And Polly. Yeah, you, you died fast. Polly can be an absolute asshole with his telefragging. But we'll leave him be. And then, yeah, I think, I think it's one more wave after this, right? This might actually be the last one, but I think it's one more after this. I feel it. It's either this one or the next one. It gets pretty easy to gauge. There you go. We unlock Charm of the Vampire, which isn't particularly great, but oh well. And down we go. Angel Deal has nothing to offer us. Apart from accidentally forgetting we had Mama Mega and triggering the Angel fight for no reason. Yeah, gave us some consumables. Why not? And down we go. And yeah, we have the Hush Key as well now. <laughs> Despite the fact that we are on like 40 minutes into this run. 35. I'm going to save up our keys here. We don't have any indication of which way is the right way here. Just remember we're on full heart damage now. We need to be a little more cautious about getting hit. But I think we've, we've gotten enough damage now from having spun and stuff. We shouldn't get hit too often anyways. I think we're going to be hitting stuff pretty hard. Hey, we got some good stuff there. Um, I would very much like Baby Plum. See if we can afford you when we come back. Although, I suppose we have a shop coming up and maybe we want to save for the shop instead. I don't know. We'll see where our health looks. 
by the end of this floor, I guess. See if we're going the right way. Because we, we already have a little delirium who's doing the fruity plum stuff every now and again, anyways. We got the money already. It's not exactly an item that's going to save us, is it? Maybe we want to save our money for potentially better stuff. Probably a good idea, to be honest. But yeah, that's from the wooden sign thing that we that we bought in the shop. The the one that says greed on it. You can see it on our item tracker. It just spawns random like traveling salesman shops every now and again. I don't know how I didn't get hit there, but I will take it. Ow. Very bad hit. The hermit's not going to do much for us here. Did you not die? Okay. And this time we got Piggy Bank. The Hanged Man, thank you. Actually, that's we do we don't have flights. That is not terrible. Hey, another Plotarium! Hell yes. Let's see what we end up getting from this. Speed up and doors stay open. I'm gonna gravity shift that because I don't think we need that. And I very highly regret doing that. Because none of these items are any good. Although, saying that, I actually think the unicorn horn isn't terrible. Because at least ne then we have a way out of tricky situations. Oh, we got Dead Eye as well. Oh, we got a, a Lemmageddon Wisp for some reason. I don't know why or how, but we got a Lemmageddon Wisp. Interesting. Interesting. But yeah, that's what you can do in Planetariums. It gives you a choice of four regular items. Kind of interesting. It's not super useful all the time. Um... But that's an item that, while good, and actually very good, I just think it's too late into the run to really for it to matter too much. Also, we have penetration up so we can kill this guy while his head's down. Extra black heart for us there. One more black heart. Yeah. This room is a bit scary. But yeah, I want to I want to try and keep Dead Eye alive as long as possible. Double damage is no joke. Eternal Heart there too, why not? We are wrecking up rooms right now though. Wrecking them up. It's great. Ooh, need to get that as well. Quickly go back. Grab that. There you go, up to full health. Beautiful. And we got Conquest unfortunately. Which, I mean, I suppose we could take the flight. I think that's better. I think because it is technically invincibility as well, and it does give us flight. I know I just took that item, so it's a bit of a sad time to get rid of it so quickly. But do you know what? I'm down for it. I'm down for it. And also, the the actual active effect of this is way better, as you just saw. So we're getting a lot more red heart spawning now. A lot, lot more. Whoa, what hit me then? As I said, visual, like being able to see what's going on, a little tricky with this guy now. Oh, he gave me a blue spider that time. Not really what we're looking for, but thank you. I'm hoping I can enter the hush fight with about this amount of health. Anything too much lower than this, and I wouldn't feel super comfortable. By the way, if we from Soul Locker, does it work with Black Hearts too? Because I haven't been checking. I haven't been keeping track of that. Okay, that guy's got the death effect on him. Why not kill him first? You may ask. Because I'm a goober. Oh, that is that is beautiful. That is precious. I just want to open every chest at the moment to try and get money for uh, whatever random items could spawn, but also for the shop that's coming up. <gasps> oh, wait. How does this work? <laughs> Can I get both of these? Like, if I use this key, does it... How does it work? I need to drop it and find out. One second. 
Error walk. Um, unlocks the passageway to the hush fight regardless of run duration. If I hmm, if I leave the room, do I still? Does it still stay open? Because <laughs> I really want that trinket, but honestly, I don't think I want to risk accidentally shutting the door again. That would be super sad. I'm not going to risk it. I'm not going to risk it. I feel like it would stay open, but I don't know. Ow. I had a feeling I was getting hit there. Okay. In here we go. I could you die, please? Thank you. Holy. Beautiful. Right. Hush door is open. I will go through. Yeah, I have to have it in my hand to keep it open by the looks of things. It hasn't consumed it or anything. I probably could go. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not risking it. I'm not risking it. I probably could. I'm not risking it. Did get a golden penny here, which I wasn't expecting. See what our items are here. The clicker is not allowed, so that's obviously one item out the way. Oh! <laughs> Doesn't matter, we got it anyways. But this time, let's gravity shift on these. Golden bombs actually isn't bad for this. And I will take a charge as well. Yeah, golden bombs is not bad for this at all. I don't think we need error walk for this fight. Let's just go and do it. Yeah, getting bugger tears there was kind of crazy. Just try and get as many bugger tears on him as we can. Hope we don't get too many burning shots attached. Put myself. Oh, ho, ho. That, was a, that was a bit of a telefrag, but also very much my fault. I wonder if the bugger tears can still trigger fires. I bet they can. Because they're still technically in the air. I don't know when to use my uh, thingy. I was going to say, oh, we have golden bombs now. Let's use a bunch of bombs. But then I realized we're playing as Andromeda. And they'll just get, like, bounced around every corner of the room all the time. And he'll just dodge them like that. But they do pierce boss armor. So I'm, I'm very inclined to use them when I can. The problem is with our fires and hush, we have to stand reasonably close to him for the, the fires to be able to hit him. So we're not going to get a lot of damage out the fires. Main damage is probably going to come from bugger tears, I'll be honest. Probably going to come from bugger tears. We've already got him like halfway dead. Get another bomb in there, why not? See all these tears that have been transformed into our tears. Saving us so much. That bomb got pushed. Stood right in front of that one. The fire should take care of these guys very quickly. Although he's they're, they're really not get dying very quickly at all, actually. I thought they'd die really fast. That was not the case. I'm very stuck here. I kind of have to just wait my turn. I don't know what's going on right now. I don't know where I am. I'm so confused. Thought that was a good time to use that. Probably wasn't. Honestly, I'm visually, I'm so confused what's going on right now. There's so much on screen. But, we seem to be hitting him. He's, he's shooting out so many kids. This ain't no daycare, buddy. Put your kids back in your mouth. Get out from underground, too. That nubbin over there is in a terrible spot. But we got him. We got him. Okay. Unlock Celestial Crown. Oh, the run ends here for some reason? It's not meant to. 
It's not meant to... Hmm. That's a bug. And I know that's a bug, and it's an actual known bug. This is maybe a little scummy, but I am going to teleport myself to the cathedral, because that is a specific bug with... with if you create a new Dead God save file, killing Hush for the first time doesn't work correctly for some reason and i'm the I, I just decided to give myself the safe file in a weird way so i'm not feeling bad about this i, I should be on the 13 no it's 11 no it's 10 10 here cool we've gone to the cathedral i think that's fair enough by the way where's my um modded completion marks mod do i have that enabled one second, well, let me just pause. Okay, I don't have that enabled right now, but it's going to be enabled for the next episode, don't worry. We remember what we've done, regardless. Okay. Keep pushing forward. I'm hoping we can get a bit more HP before Isaac here, because I think Isaac will hit me a few times, because I have to get so close to him. I think it could be problematic. I'm hoping for more red health. I'm hoping for a lot more red health. I don't know if that'll end up hitting much, but give it a go. Not a fan of all those fires. Especially ones in front of doors. Professional isn't really what we're looking for right now. That was super nice. Don't telefrag me, big boy. Don't need bombs for much. That's a soul heart. Very nice. That's a soul heart. Very nice. That's a soul heart. Very nice. <laughs> That's a soul... What the hell was this room? <laughs> We got literally all the items that gave us at least one soul heart. <laughs> what on earth was that? That was bizarre. Okay, only one of you left now. On big rooms, it's literally free to use that because you get both charges back. Beautiful. Uh, Bob's Rotten Head, no thank you. We could take a four cent. Okay, it's not a good one. I thought I had to try it. Right, through we go. Through we go. Give me that key. And try and take this big boy out. Ooh, that was a good shot, sir. I kind of knocked him back into myself. Okay, so Isaac shouldn't be too bad here. And this guy could give us a black heart as well. He didn't, he gave us a card, but I won't blame him. He's a good boy. That was a lot of damage. I keep forgetting, I've been playing with a mod on my main series that gives these bosses boss armor, and I keep forgetting how, like, they don't normally have boss armor, and you can just shred them. <laughs> so I'm getting these runs, and I'm like, oh, damn. This guy's boss is dying really fast. I'm like, oh, yeah, because these bosses don't have boss armor regularly. <laughs> Ow, that was a really bad hit. Cool. I hope we get a Void Portal, because... Actually, no. Would I try Void with this run? I think I probably would. I'm not sure yet. That would be a risk. Hmm. I don't know what technology would do with this setup. It seems risky. I think this is a setup that makes a lot of sense. I'm going to take this. I'm going to leave technology... The synergy could be cool, but it could ruin what we already have. And also, this is made of fires an insane size for some reason. Like an absolutely insane size. Nah. Brittle burns, no thank you. We can't take risks. Did Lil Horn teleport away? Yeah, he did. He dodged it. Little chip. Another chest there. 
We got good luck. We got 420 luck. Haha. Okay, having piercing here is great. I was going to get hit there, and this room's free, so I thought, why not use it? Got lab there, too. Fire mind, again, too big of a risk. It's good, but we ain't taking that, that hotness. Ooh, rock gut's really good. We'll take that. I will certainly take a rock gut. But yeah, fire mind, hell nah, that's way too risky. <laughs> Okay, that was pretty bad usage of that, but it killed Lust. It's all the, the only one I was really worried about. Okay, Soul Heart there as well, thank you. There's a Hierophant card in here for some reason. Oh, the Hierophant card, I don't know where that came from. I think, I, I think my buddy dropped it. He was like, nah, 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 I'm not giving you a black heart. Here's two soul hearts instead. Deal with it. The amount of the fires. Picking up Death's Touch just made the fires into this insanity. It's hilarious. Okay, that did a decent amount. I think I did get hit there. Yeah, I did. It's death. It's buggering me up with his slowdown. Sad onion, why not? Didn't actually give us anything. Oh, although buying something did. Actually, I should, I should be just buying everything. I've got to keep a sack. I keep forgetting that. Why not just buy everything? Buy it all up. <clears throat> the fire. It's just hilarious at this point. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and beat Mega Satan without using Error Walk in case we get the chance to go to the Void. Because I don't think we need it. We were invincible for a moment there, so we had the chance. You know what? You should grab that. Our health is good, but not amazing. I'd like it to be full. <laughs> With how much, how, how much the stakes are here, I'd like it to be full. Keeping an eye on projectiles coming in is impossible. It really is. I got hit again there and I have no idea what hit me. Hey, I just got dirty, man. You should be my friend. <laughs> is there any way to know that was happening on screen? Not really. I don't know what's going on right now or who's where. Oh, we ruined our 420 look. Damn it. Look how much that wrecks him. We got Void here. Mmm. This is a hard decision, because I feel like this run could do Void, and Void is a harder mark. Is it worth more points? One second. It is worth more points, so I think we should go for it, considering we have Error Walk. I realise we could end up doing Mega Satan and D Void, but it's not guaranteed. So I think we should take the Void while we can get it, and go do it. I think Error Walk should see, as long as we can make it there, Error Walk should see, seal the deal. And I think we can make it there. And remember, we could get some other items along the way too. We'll see what we end up getting. And there's going to be Red Hearts too along the way. Not that we'll ever be able to see when this guy pays out, but, you know. I thought I'd mention it. Don't feed me red spiders. That's that's just rude.
Is this three bosses? This is three bosses. I was really th expecting that one to be just delirium there straight away. Extra trinket space. Bob splatter, bomb sleeve creep, kind of decent. Ow. Hive mind, not great, but could be good. Got a black heart there as well. And the, um, this fella. But you're dead. Poop. <laughs> no, thank you. That is a generous offering, but I think I'll be okay. I don't need no poop in my life right now. So many hearts spawning right now is great. Oh, balls of steel. Uh, I'll leave that there for now. I'll just try and remember where it is. I just wanted to finish that room as quickly as possible. We've also got a black heart there as well. We'll leave that there too. Oh my god. This is a crazy run. <laughs> I love crazy Andromeda runs. I should have left that black heart on the floor, really. Oh, I think I did. Yeah. I did. Got as much health on the floor as I can get, really. He spawned something. Another black heart. Hello, sirs. You give me wavy cap. No, thank you. God damn wavy cap. Don't think that's the sort of thing that we want on a run like this. That would make me puke. Making our way through pretty quick. We got the lamb. Wasn't expecting the lamb. Really should have waited for his second form before using that. But it killed his second form anyways, so it doesn't matter. Ooh, Mum's Rage is really good. This this could be him. This could be the, the fella who we're waiting for. It is. Let's pop an arrow walk. Where is he? I don't even see him. One problem we're going to have is we genuinely have absolutely no idea where tears are on the screen. We're going to get hit randomly quite a lot. Just because we, we just purely can't see. We're just hoping for Saturnus to eat up some of the tears so that we don't get hit. Which it's doing a pretty good job of, to be honest. Oh, look at this resprite. It's so cool. That damage was beautiful. In this form, he has no boss armor, so you want to take advantage when he's in that form. Every other form, he has boss armor. The base form, he does not. Yeah, we got hit there. Do you remember, though? We have a very good chance of getting quite long invincibility after getting hit, and a guaranteed chance of getting at least some invincibility when hit. Because we're always going to get po Polaroid invincibility, and we're sometimes going to get extra on top of that. It'd be nice if he sat in some of these fires, to be honest, but I don't think we're going to really convince him to do that too often. I love that attack in uh, Delirium Fight. It looks so cool. It just fills the whole screen. Because normally you only see it in a small room, so it doesn't really have the same effect. But in here, it's crazy. Okay. So it's looking like we're pretty guaranteed to win this here, doesn't it? Okay, this is the, 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 the phase of him we want to take advantage of. I thought I'd just get in there, take some hits to do some more damage, but it didn't really work out. It's cool, it's cool. He keeps spawning loads of Stevens. I don't even know where he is right now. Where are you, sir? Oh, you're there. And you're back in your full form. Damn it, he's saving it for like two seconds. Oh, back to full form again. Just so hard keeping track of him. There we got the leg stompies. It's the worst attack he can possibly do. Where are you now? Where are you now? 
I've lost you again. Oh, you're on full farm again. Oh, he's almost dead. He's almost dead. All I need to do now is find him. There we go. We got him. We got him. Awesome. Awesome. I hope you guys did enjoy this one. A very good first run. We'll end it off. Very, very happy with that. And yeah, we'll see you guys in the next one.